It's, uh, you know, it was odd last week, we were, we were still disappointed, you know, we were not disappointed, just felt we could do better, and obviously that's even a bigger feeling, you know, I, I thought we were, yeah, we just lacked all sorts of rhythm, but um, we've worked very hard on our culture and the character and the team, and I think that reflected, you know, to go two Super Rugby games without scoring a point is an achievement, you know, mm -hmm. as much, it was such a nice crowd, we wanted to delight and score more tries, like Sibylla's, of course we did, and disappointed we didn't, we made too many mistakes, but hell, that Bulls team came, you know, they, um, you know, the ref, speaking of the refereeing staff, but I said one of the most physical Super Rugby games I've ever been involved in. So, credit to credit to the Bulls, the way they came at us and never stopped coming, and the way we held them out. Yeah. Tom, um, are you happy that they focused on the niggles in the first half and that you sort of weathered that storm and just kept them out of the game like that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> After what I said about the Hurricanes, uh, <laughs> and I really like Puerto, so uh, <laughs> maybe we'll probably have a brandy after it. So, um, look, uh, well, it, it was a tough, it was, look, it was a, I know it's the biggest t-shirt you're going to hear, it was a typical derby, South African mm. derby. They knew it was the last game, and they lost last week, and uh, listen, there was, like last week, weren't angels either, but there was a, there were some shots fired out there, I think, uh, so we were. Yeah. And after the take from Salman Murat, eventually the Stormers have managed to find some forward momentum through their mall and they have real purchase here and the ball is down for Skaran Tuveri. When you do the review of this match, you, you're going to see a lot of chances created and, and um, nothing yeah. taken. Uh, I mean, I think uh, we need to score twice, we need that confidence because uh, with all that ball we had, we, we must finish and, and uh, put the uh, teams under pressure. Uh, the Stormers had one chance with that ball and they scored. And, you know, mm. that's, that was the difference between winning and losing. Do you think maybe Berger, you can answer this? It's about when you had them under pressure on their line for a long time there, midway through the second half. Would it maybe, it was 25 minutes to go, maybe take the points, chip away? Would that have maybe been a better option with the amount of time you had left? Yeah, um, it's one of those that you can think about now, but uh, in the moment we just said we're going to go for the line out and. Yeah, it's off to the Stormers. I think uh, they kept us out for that basically 30 minutes we were in the 22. And um, yeah, like Coach said, if you if you go into the 22, you have to get away with points. Otherwise, you're just wasting time. Willem Sapp. Johan de Toy offloading contact for Nate. And here is Sam Gets around Josh Truss. They made it look so simple. Feel the momentum of this game. Godwin Masimla away to Jean-Luc Dupuis.